Hello, this is Daniel from Sendance Couch. In this video, I will be checking out the Capcom game Resident Evil 4 running on iOS. I will be using my M1 12.9 inch iPad Pro and an iPhone 15 Pro Max. This is the full remake version of Resident Evil 4 that was released on consoles and PC 9 months ago. There is also a Mac version as well. But now it is available on iOS. I have also looked at Resident Evil Village for iOS in another video I have made, if you would like to check that out as well. The link is in the description of this video. I am excited to see how the latest installment of Capcom's Resident Evil remakes plays on my M1 iPad Pro and my iPhone 15 Pro Max. The system requirements for Resident Evil 4 are the same as they are for Resident Evil Village. If you don't have an iPhone 15 or an M1 or better Apple Silicon on your iPad, you won't be able to play this game. You will also need to have iOS 17 or newer installed on your device. Having played Resident Evil 4 on my PS5 9 months ago, I am very excited to see how it plays on my iOS devices. After you download the game, waiting in at almost 690MB from the App Store, you will have another download of 11.9GB within the game itself. Be aware though, if your iPhone or iPad goes into standby mode, the download pauses as well and it won't continue downloading until you wake up your device again. Here I am on my 12.9 inch M1 iPad Pro playing the game. You can play the game with touch controls, but I would definitely choose a Bluetooth controller. I am using my Xbox Series controller this time. Not only is it more comfortable to play, it also supports force feedback, which helps the game being even more immersive. I am filming all of my footage directly off the screen on each device, so that you can get a better feel for it how it looks on the actual screen of each device. The chief gave the orders himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure your boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> The game runs well on my iPad Pro. It is running around 30 FPS most of the time. The screen resolution is definitely upscaled a little bit with Metal FX. What stands out is the main character Leon and his hair. While you could enable ray traced hair on the console and PC version, it is absent here. It looks a little bit fuzzy, but it's not a deal breaker either. You are getting the full Resident Evil 4 experience here on a mobile platform. Uh, sorry to barge in like this. Bruce, this is Gondor 1. Hunnigan here, what's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done.
Now on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, we are getting an even better picture, mostly thanks to the gorgeous OLED display. And since the game supports high dynamic range, the muzzle flashes and torches for example really stand out from the dark environments, which is also helped by the deep blacks. It looks good on an iPad, but OLED is definitely the winner here. Sorry to barge in like this. Although the iPhone can theoretically do ray tracing, you can see that Leon's hair is not ray traced here either, and the picture is also a little bit fuzzy from the Metal FX upscaling. Just like the iPad version, the iPhone runs the game at around 30 FPS, with slight dips during heavy battle scenes. Just like Resident Evil Village, this game is going to drain your battery quickly. I'm losing around 1% battery per minute. But that's just what mobile gaming with AAA games is. Other handheld systems, like the Steam Deck, also have trouble keeping up with the power required for high-end graphics. I noticed that Resident Evil Village had a vast array of graphical options to choose from, while Resident Evil 4 is quite limited. Though it's nice to have the game optimized for one setting, it would be nice if the user could decide some settings themselves, like for example disabling Metal FX upscaling. Here are some screenshots comparing the iPad version and the iPhone 15 Pro Max version. I enjoyed Resident Evil 4 on my iPad as well as on my iPhone. I like this trend of AAA games coming to the iOS platform, and I hope more titles will follow this example. How about you? Are you going to give Resident Evil 4 on iOS a spin? Or are you sticking to console or computer gaming? Let me know in the comments of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel if you would like to see more of my videos, cool tech reviews and games. It really helps me to make more content for you in the future. Until then, I will see you next time on Sam Dance Couch.